The very first video game I ever remember playing was Mickey's Space Adventure. It was programmed by Al Lowe, the same Al Lowe who made Leisure Suit Larry. We played it with my brother who read what was going on, on the screen to me and my little brother. Ever since then, adventure games have had a special place in my heart. Brutal. With many LucasArts classics along the way. So it was totally awesome when crowdfunding started to bring them back, and then when they started to get re-releases. Hi, my name's Guybrush. Grim Fandango is one of those, and there's a subtle irony to the fact that a game that's so lively, so wonderfully, brilliantly conceived in the world is so fantastic, that that should be the game that they went out on, in spite of the fact that, yes, it is suitable that they went out in a game about dead people. It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Just your appearance. Grim Fandango is about Manuel Calavera. Intimidating me, but I'm your friend. My a travel name. agent to the dead. Oh, you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. Basically, he sells travel packages to the dead based on how good they were during life. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time and I'm playing off of the myth of Charon, who ferried the dead across the river Styx for the toll of coins laid across their eyes after death. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich dead saint. However, Grim Fandango carries a certain Day of the Dead flavor to it, and is actually much more related to film noir and hardboiled detective stories. I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Manny gets involved with things that he shouldn't when a woman comes into his life. You're not the nurse? and his life as a civil servant goes haywire. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. As he enters this neo-noir world. The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. While in some ways Grim Fandango has not aged well, the tank controls, for instance, you might remember from other games like Resident Evil. In other ways, it's surprisingly contemporary. The adventure game style dialogue trees will look familiar to absolutely anybody who plays modern RPGs. Even if it doesn't include a branching dialogue path, the dialogue is integral to the game and figuring out the puzzles, where the clues are often hidden within the dialogue itself. Oh, we can look it up. Hold on. So we made the game export it into like screenplay format. So you can actually look at every word that's been said so far in the game. It's a really amazing mechanism that was a huge part of the gameplay and puzzle aspect of the game. Somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get... The upgrades to the game are definitely a huge highlight. You've got graphical upgrades. The textures have been replaced with textures that are 16 times the size of the original textures. And some of the music has been rescored. And Peter McConnell himself has added new musical components to the score. Yeah, there was no guitar part there before, and it's... We're finding it. There's commentary from Tim Schafer and the other original creators. You can somehow, sometimes, make a really good argument for the wrong decision, and that's something to watch out for in life. <laughs> many of the team who were able to come back more than a decade later. It's a tribute to what this game means to them that so many people were able to come back and help them revitalize it. The controls have been upgraded, or you can still play with the original tank controls. Although, the original tank controls do make it somewhat difficult to get around. This is one of those games that marked an end of an era. A fantastic example of what gaming was and what it can still be in the future. Grim Fandango will release on January 27th. It's being developed and published by Double Fine Productions for the PS4, PS Vita, PC, Mac, and Linux for $14.99. A pre-order bonus for the PS4 is a PS4 wallpaper. Check out GameRevolution.com for all the latest gaming news, reviews, and previews. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch Game Revolution Radio, where our intrepid editors gab about all the latest gaming news. Challenge Accepted, where Anthony LaBella plays your most stringent and difficult challenges. And our recent facts, videos, and live streams. Sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick?